Okay, a wee bit of compare and contrast for saw options. Now, in my video on my Mr. Man Man channel, you'll see a review of the brand new takedown saw, which I absolutely love. It's a 15 inch saw, extremely lightweight, very easy to use. Saw blade just comes in there. Go check out that review. If you can get them in the UK, lucky you, because they're extremely hard to find. 15 inch blade, brilliant for one man camping. Um, some people did have issues with the wee nut there. We'll say, check out my review on that. This is going to be the main review for the Trailblazer 18 inch takedown bow saw. And it's an awesome option to have. Cylinder tube, quite thick so you can get a good grasp on it. Comparing it with the uh, takedown saw, obviously it's longer. Width wise, this beats it as thinner, but um, I'll, sh I'll show you the options on this. I think you'll really like it. So, this is how you get it this is your wee ring you can hang, use to hang up. Um, all you have to do is just, that's just a bit of spring steel, just pull that out on both ends. Do not lose that, stick it in your mouth. I'll just set it down for the time being. Remind me it's there. The rest of the saw just pops out of the cylinder where you have your 18 inch blade, which is the exact same blade that's on the Browning takedown saw. And you have the rest of your saw components. Your retention bar and the rest of your components to put it together. So all together it's about four pieces for this and your saw, so five bits. Okay. Now to put it together is really, really easy. What you do first, or what I do first, is uh, on your one side you can see you've got three entries. There are three holes on the other side you've only got one. The singular hole, get your tension bar with the we hook on the top, put it through there, and then just jiggle it till it comes through. Okay, got a wing nut on the end, just pull that out just to give you a wee bit more room. Okay, now next thing I do is take your squared off tube, your bar there. And that goes in the next level down, so you can work from the top down if it helps you. Now look, see the way you have to know which way to put this round. So it goes down that way, so your angle is to the bottom. Okay, you see the stall target is starting to take shape. Next thing you do, or I do again, is take your saw and it goes in the bottom part. Now what you will notice, the saw blade is actually going to go up in this top part. So you will just insert the saw here and the saw blade then goes up to the top part. A wee bit fiddly. Now we're just matching up the other end of the components. Again working from the top it's a lot easier. So put your tension bar on the top and work your way down. That's why I keep the tension bar quite loose so then you can get that in easier and get the rest of the saw attached. So just bear with me a second. And that's your saw completely attached. All you need to do now is tighten up on the wing nut. You'll notice that there's a wee plastic stud there, just a line up flush with the bar. Just make sure that's there. Just means you can tighten it a lot easier. One benefit over the wing nut is, um, if needs be, you can use a Leatherman or something to get it as tight as you need it. Now I can just feel it tightening up. Just make sure that your saw is in the top section there. And you'll see on the other side, it just sits down in the bottom. Just make sure there's nothing obstructing it. You'll hear wee sort of dinks when it's 
tensioning up. That's as tight as I need it. No movement in the saw blade. But you can see you've got a nice huge bow saw. They're 18 inches as I said. But one of the awesome things about this is you've got a massive grip on your fist. So if you've got a decent set of gloves on you can get a good um, handle on the saw. But also if you really wish you can get a two handed grip on the saw. And if needs be, mind your fingers, you can get onto the bottom part as well and really go at it. So let's give you a demo. Okay, I've got a nice bit of wood here to hand. Um, it just spans top of my hand. As you can see, the saw spans us with absolute ease. So when you're pushing through, you've got lots of movement. So we're going to go through this, see what it's like, see how the saw performs. Now you can see with the sawdust, the way the blade is, the, it just pushes the sawdust, the teeth just push the sawdust to give you a very clean cut. So expect a lot of sawdust spraying up and your, um, your blade is still very clean. And there you go. Now, as you can see, it's a very clean cut on the saw blade. Now, you can see getting near the bottom, the saw was starting to run out of room, just on how thick the wood is. So, all I've done, cutting through, when you get down lower, just change your angle of your saw gives you more space to cut through. So if you keep changing your angle, it works a lot easier, which also means you get more grip points. One point I was gripping it up here, down the bottom, moving your hands around to help whatever. Now also, what you can do is you've got your mate, he can grab the other side, and then you can together buzz through this with ease. So it's a very nice option, really clean cut and uh, highly recommended from me. Check out honey.com for the saw and for latest pricings. But in the woods, when you want to get some decent firewood, if you want to make something, maybe you want to make a seat, maybe you want to make a table, you know, maybe you're harvesting wood for, uh, for wee projects, for if you're going to make a bowl. I know some guys online are doing that. Maybe you can get a decent bit of wood. So like I here that packs up into your rucksack. You know, that's how easy this thing packs up. It'll pack them into a wee day hike bag. There is other ones on the market, but to me, this is a lightweight construction, aluminium. It's gonna be really easy to power through any option for, uh, for wood prep. So they are fantastic saw. And when you're done, Collapses all very nice and neatly back into your bargain. Thanks for watching.